Today's post is a little self-indulgent, so I apologize in advance. Over the course of my FBI career, I periodically served as an FBI media spokesperson in both Chicago and Hawaii. This was a collateral duty I did on the side in addition to working my cases. I volunteered for this duty for two important reasons. First, I believe in the mission of the FBI, and I felt strongly then, as I do now, that the good work at the FBI deserves to be showcased to the taxpayers who pay our salaries. The second reason is because I was totally, completely head over heels in love with the sound of my own voice. I recently found my first television appearance on behalf of the FBI way back in 2006, and spoiler alert, I sucked. The underlying case involved a serial bank robber in Chicago who had until then avoided identification and capture. Here's the clip. Seven robberies in the last two months. The FBI says that's how many times the latest serial bank robber has hit the Chicago area. Craig Wall has more about the man who's become Chicago's most wanted. We've dubbed him the Chicago Bandit because he often wears a blue baseball cap with the word Chicago emblazoned on the hat and the bill. It's clear that this guy has a lot of local pride, but he's got a funny way of showing it. Take a look at the hat again. Agents say it's one aspect of this case that really stands out. It's not a Chicago sports hat. It's not a Bears hat or a Bulls hat. It's, it's just sort of a generic Chicago hat, the way, the way they'd sell it at a flea market or any kind of tourist shop. The other on September 19th. He's a serial bank robber, and without the public's help, he's going to do it again. When the Chicago bandit walks into a bank, he stands in line like a normal customer. He's very quiet and unassuming. He, often, he always wears dark sunglasses and that blue baseball cap. When he gets up to the teller, he doesn't talk much. He just slips them a note demanding money. While it's not clear how the Chicago bandit makes his getaway, FBI agents are hoping the way he dresses will provide the key to tracking him down. We're hoping maybe that someone's going to recognize that hat and call it in. The good news is that the volcano of charisma that I brought to that performance produced results. The FBI received a tip from the bank robber's family, and he was captured, prosecuted, and went to prison for 10 years. And that's pretty much how it all went down. Have a great day, and be cool.